GBN we keep you informed. I am Michelle Jones and in the news, long run, short catch, bigger crime reign of terror is over. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. The fatal shooting by the police of one of Jamaica's most wanted, Nessa Bigger Crime Morrison, in Clarendon on Wednesday, elicited sighs of relief among some former residents of the 11 miles Bull Bay area known as Lane 8. Now for we had to run away because in Simago we put everybody in the lane, said one resident who had fled the area at the height of a murderous rampage in 2021. It's just him and the alleged gang a feud and because the man did that jail him get the strength to come kill off people in the lane, the man said as he said that bigger crime and the members of his Tankwell Hill gang had also carried out several murders in the Bubble Hill and Seven Miles areas of Bull Bay. He said they want to control the whole of Bull Bay, and anybody who not bought to them was in danger, added another former resident, who identified bigger crime and his cronies as the killers of two men, 25-year-old D. John Campbell and Kamal Forbes, whose bodies were found in a riverbed in January 2022. Police investigators theorized that the two men were killed for stealing material from a construction site which residents claimed was under the protection of bigger crime and his bunch of gangsters. Bigger Crime was the alleged leader of the Tankwell Hill Gang, which operates out of the 11 miles of the St. Andrew St. Thomas border. He was placed on the police's most wanted list some two years ago, and a series of operations were launched to capture him, even as he defied orders from the police to turn himself in. On November 24, 2022, the Joint Anti-Gang Task Force closed in on one of his many hideouts, recovering two assault rifles, one Browning double-action 9mm pistol, and 129 assorted rounds of ammunition, which included 108 live 5.56mm rounds, 16 live 9mm rounds, 512 gauge rounds in that operation. They also recovered paramilitary equipment and a large sum of US counterfeit cash, among other contraband. A regular feature of the Jamaica Constabulary Forces Wanted Wednesday's campaign, Mercer's wanted for double murder, shooting, and arson arising from incidents in Bull Bay, East Kingston, and surrounding communities. After that narrow escape, there were reports that bigger crime and his cronies had sought refuge in an inner city community before making their way to Clarendon with the police on their trail. Late Wednesday afternoon, Deputy Commissioner of Police, DCP in charge of crime, Fitz Bailey, confirmed that bigger crime had been killed in an intelligence-driven operation in Longville Park, Clarendon. While providing few details on the operation, DCP Bailey said this was one of several operations which the security forces had launched in an effort to capture the man believed to have committed several crimes. Bigger crime reigned terror on the citizens within the 11 miles Bull Bay area and its environs, killing and maiming several people, said DCP Bailey. I think this is a victory for the people of those communities and it is a relief that they can no longer perpetuate those acts of violence against them, added Bailey. In what appeared to be a celebratory post on Twitter, the Jamaica Constable Force said, Long run, short catch, as it reported the fatal shooting of Morrison. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.